many similar projects are on a drawing board statewide uh, that don't have funding yet? If you could even uh, put that into a quantity. You know, I, I, I think we're working on several projects. Um, it, it's varying in, in the size of cost. Uh, how many that are, of, let's say, of this size? Yeah, this size, we're well, there's not deaths, but there's a lot of accidents. And, and how do they get rated as emergency <laughs> when they brought to the governor, to the legislature, have your own that yeah, we, we pretty much we'll, we'll make those decisions ourselves typically, um, but it's, it's priority based on uh, one thing is, is support in the community, but also um, the, the benefit in terms of the number of accidents, the number of accidents we think we can uh, eliminate. Um, it, it's a variety of things. Um, we look at uh, uh, improvements of uh, in terms of traffic flow, um, but it, I mean, in answer to your question, how many are we looking at? Right now, I've got a guess, maybe a dozen. Who else are you looking for federal, federal participation? Right. Thank you. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Is that the plan? I think it's played over to the task. I'm not going to forget. Thank you. Thank you. Does everybody spoken once? I want to give everybody a turn to speak. areas and also the sort of the walkability and pedestrian issues. Um, it looks like with the traffic lights you have crosswalks. Can you tell me how it works for a pedestrian in a roundabout to get across that area? Yeah. Um, uh, so typically with a roundabout uh, there are there are islands that separate the, the two directions of traffic. So on, um, on Main Street there would be an island that would separate the, uh, the two directions. The crosswalks go from the side of the road to the island. So pedestrians cross, there is no, there is no signal per se, um, but they, the pedestrian crosses one direction of traffic, gets to that, that island in the middle, what we call a pedestrian refuge area, and then he crosses the other direction. So the advantage is that he's only crossing one direction at a time. He only has to look, um, you know, to, to, he only basically he's looking for a gap in traffic and he's looking for a gap in one direction gets halfway across and he's looking for a gap in the other direction. As compared to you know, the current condition where you're trying to find a gap in both directions at the same time, you have a gap long enough to cross the entire road. So what we find is it's actually much, um, it's certainly much quicker for pedestrians. It's actually even safer for pedestrians because the, the traffic um, is going at a much slower speed. The roundabouts are typically about 20 miles an hour. And that's not, that's not a sign, that's physical physically force you to go down to about 20 miles an hour. So, so 
for that reason, we've seen great benefits in terms of pedestrian safety, but also in terms of pedestrian efficiency as well. They're actually it's much quicker to cross the street that way than it is to press a button waiting for a light.
Anybody else? Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming, um, and I want to I'll reiterate again, please do send us in those comment forms. Uh, they are very important to us as we, as we proceed further. And again, if you have our contact information, if you have any further questions or comments uh, later on. Thank you. Well, real quick, uh, for everybody's, uh, for everybody's education, I want, to, I want to thank you all again for being here tonight. Uh, we will be communicating with uh, Will and Eric and the rest of the staff at DOT. So please send uh, your suggestions or any additional questions you may have uh, to my office or to them directly, and we'll make sure that, that we incorporate and communicate this all together. Some great stuff was raised tonight about pedestrian access, about uh, bike access, about how we walk around and get around, and, uh, and the, the overall implications on, on, uh, on neighborhoods, on residential neighborhoods. So I really appreciate everyone's suggestion. Thank you uh, to you guys for spending the time and listening to us as a community. And, uh, um, I think uh, you know, with, with consensus, we'll come up with a, a, an extraordinary project.